The age-related loss of the single molecule is what leads to age-related chronic disease. Number one, my name is Dr. Nathan Bryan, international leader in nitric oxide biochemistry and molecular medicine. You know, the clinical data are very clear that the older we get, typically the less nitric oxide we make. And so what I want to point out today is what happens, what can you expect at each step of this gradual decline or this rapid decline in, that occurs in many cases. So let's take a normal 21, 22-year-old healthy individual, adequate nitric oxide production. They've got normal blood pressure. They have uh, optimal sexual health, nocturnal erections, uh, waking up with, with morning wood in the morning. They're, they're well-trained athletes. They're, they can perform on the athletic field. They're mentally clear and cognitively optimized. Now, when you start to lead to this decline in nitric oxide production, let's take the, the Western lifestyle. So they're drinking fluorinated water that's in the municipal water supply. They're using fluoride toothpaste. They perhaps are using an antiseptic mouthwash, or then they start to get on antacids. So what happens, even in the normal course of 10 years, say from 25 to 35, we see about a 10 to 12% reduction in endothelial nitric oxide production, endothelial function. Now, what that means is so that 10 years later, your blood pressure is going to start to increase. Your sexual functions become more compromised. You may not have as many erections or the quality of the erections become compromised. Now, you're certainly not as going to perform as you will as an athlete when you were 24 or 25 years old when you're, when you're 30 or 35. And then let's just say we don't correct those things that are leading to a gradual decline in nitric oxide production. And now you become a 40 or 45-year-old person. Now you're probably clinically hypertensive. You probably have a blood pressure of greater than 140 over 90. Uh, 50% of the men over the age of 40 self-report erectile dysfunction. You start to get metabolic disease, insulin resistance, uh, hyperglycemia, hyperinsulinemia, metabolic syndrome. Your triglycerides are going up. You have high blood pressure and you have uh, high blood sugar. And then again, if we don't correct that, what happens when we start to get 55, 50 to 55 years old? And we know that early loss of nitric oxide production in the endothelium that occurred when you at 25, now 30 years later, you have obstructive coronary artery disease and you're diagnosed with heart disease, cardiovascular disease, which is the number one killer of men and women worldwide. So you may have some obstruction in your coronary arteries. You may get short of breath when you exercise. You may get pain in your chest and, and tightening and angina when you begin to exercise. We call that exertional angina. And then if you don't correct that, if you don't listen to your body by the time you're 60 or 65 years old, now that plaque that's obstructed your coronary arteries becomes very vulnerable and soft. Then you start to walk up a flight of steps, you eat an inflammatory diet, that plaque burst, and that sudden cardiac death. And folks, that's the 40-year journey to the number one killer of men and women worldwide, and it doesn't happen in one day. That's a 40-year process that unfortunately most Americans, well, most people around the world are experiencing. So listen to your body. If your blood pressure goes up, if you have mild erectile dysfunction, if you're not able to walk up a flight of steps without getting short of breath and, you know, heavy breathing, then that's your body telling you, I need nitric oxide. And then stop doing the things that disrupt nitric oxide production. Start doing the things that promote it. And let's turn back the clock. Let's change the statistics. There's no reason that cardiovascular disease is still the number one killer of men and women worldwide because we know what causes it. We know how to diagnose it and we know how to fix it. And this all revolves around the production of nitric oxide. So pay attention to your body. You don't have to be a statistic.